Don't talk, just breathe. G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel now today. Myself and Connor are joined by Tommy Mitchell. Tommy, thanks for joining us, mate. Thanks for having me, boys. Looking forward to today. So today, we're gonna go through three exercises to do with footy. We're gonna do some fitness, we're gonna do some agility, and we're gonna do some contests. Now, it's not every day you're lucky enough to be joined by a Brownlow medalist, but even if you're not lucky enough as us to be joined by a Brownlow medalist, you can still be lucky enough to train like one. If you head over to the Bull Magnets app, all of the elite AFL footballers are on there teaching you how to be an elite footballer like Tommy Mitchell and hopefully like we will become after this session. Now Roger and myself are going to do the session with Tommy Mitchell. We're going to try and stay with him throughout the session. We're going to see who's probably closer to getting on an AFL list. Is it true I'm hearing this rumour there might be one spot left in the Hawkins we've well. got, we got one category, category B, rookie spot left. Category um, B. It's up for grabs <laughs> today so you know, whoever uh, puts their best foot forward, they've got, to, got themselves a chance. So. I, I am half Filipino, so I reckon we could get in the Category B spot. Yeah. There's a bit of the international well, let's prospect. See, let's see how you <laughs> Question for you boys. Yep. What's your agility like? Well, obviously, agility key part of footy. Not really in a football aspect, but I sort of have a bit of a reverse agility where sort of whenever I'm at, whenever I'm at a bar, the women find a way to sort of dodge me at all costs. So I don't so know. The if reverse, like, reverse agility. The reverse agility yeah, is sort yeah. of my my thing, preference. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How important is agility in footy? Oh, very important. I think like especially under fatigue. I feel oh, yeah. like that's when you can get a meter or two here and there. So that's the time when you really want to use it. So it's obviously something we train under fatigue. You want to have real sharp movements. So we'll do a few reps here and see how we go. But um, I like the reverse agility. Yeah. <laughs> Who would you say had the best sort of sidestep in the game that you've played with? The, oh. most, the most agile type operator. So I only played about five games with Cyril. Oh yeah. Oh, but like, like crazy agility. Like I played, yeah, only a handful at the MCG. There was one game I was literally front and center to him. Yeah. Took a hanger. <laughs> he, land, he lands on his feet like, like a cat and he's just so agile. I might disguise, not human. Well, we'll but, try and chat our inner Cyril here and yeah, see we'll if we can go. reproduce a great man. You'd never hear an excuse out of me, never. I pride myself on owning my losses, but all of them had footy boots on there. My new balance, it's a little bit dewy. Couldn't quite get off the mark. So the only reason I didn't quite pip Tom there was because of me runners. I'll bring me footy boots next time, Tommy. Starting to get a bit of a sweat up now. It was actually pretty solid, but uh, the boys uh, were pretty good with the agility. Obviously the reverse agility has been something they've been better at over the years, but um, the agility was strong. So uh, I've got some contest work now, so. Um, yeah, let's see how they go with that. Tell you what, I've never quite sort of fancied myself as sort of the Fred Flintstone twinkle toe type operator, but I, I felt pretty good doing that if I'm being brutally honest. So maybe I might try and add this sort of vertical or horizontal step to my game. All right, now we're going to do some contest work. It is absolutely key for an AFL player to be combative and contested. <laughs> so we're gonna have uh, three contests against each other each. Uh, one will go in the air, one will go more of a bullet type pass, one along the four, and then you have to get it back to the bloke who kicked it. So three contests against each other each. I've got actually a pretty bad shoulder, so I've had three or four ops on this, but um, I'm still, I'm reasonably confident, but the boys, you know, they got, they got some strength about it. They're pumping themselves up now, but um, I'll have to go on my good arm, I reckon. I'll look after myself. Hi, Rog. Very good. Chuck it up. Oh, you've done this before. Oh, the desperate oh. lunge. Couldn't oh, and the wrong forehead. Oh. Oh. Yes. Right. Got that early contact. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> tell, you, tell you what, after knowing that 0-3 v Tommy Mitch, 3 and B, the C McDonald. 
It's a decent little ego booster, but I'm keen to see how these guys got it. I'm gonna do this without my arms. Jeez. <laughs> Your Jeez, if I could pinch one here, I would be happy, but I'm gonna get manhandled. <laughs> I feel, I feel for Caden. He's had, a, he's had a rough run. Um, he's come all the way down from Geelong. We're gonna give him a chance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and compete with him without my arms. Uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but we'll give it a go. He's got to be taking the car. Get the car. No. He's got to be taking the piss. No, I actually heard that. No. I heard that. Are you all right? Yeah. Oh, you've almost had him out for the season, McDonald. All Thorns jeans is done before we've even started. Oh, was there a split second or you had it? You were all over Initially, it? I was like, no, there's no way. And then Connor went, oh, I heard that, oh, I heard that. I'm like, oh, no. There's some running, the stopwatch is out. Um, just a reminder so the category B rookie spot's still on the line here. And this is, this is where the grind work really starts. Something so. tells me if I can't beat you in the run and I'm no hope today, I'm backing myself in here. I think you'll be surprised. I agree with that. I think you'll be surprised. All right, well, well, let's let's go. We got uh, eight 90 second efforts. Yep. So you'll see this in the ball magnets programs and pre season. It's one of the sessions. Let's do it. Baz, the running all comes down to this. A list spot is that far away. It's in my grasp. Roggy, he's a fast man. He goes to body fit, he's got the rig. But Tyson Fury, have you seen his body type? And he gets it done, pulls it from the depths of his heart. And that's what I'm gonna have to do today. Now, I've never been the most arrogant man and I am supportive of me mates, but something tells me if I can't run these laps a bit faster than C. McDonald, then uh, something is seriously wrong in the space time continuum. Well, the boys are having a stretch here. I reckon they're a bit nervous. Um, so I'm just kind of working out if I go easy, I'll put them to the sword. I reckon I'll, I'll start off easy, it'll be nice. The last few rounds, I'll we'll give them a good crack, we'll see how they go. They got me, they got me in the end, which is a bit of a surprise. Um, you know, I thought I could, could at least hang out with Tommy Mitch for a bit, but fair play to Rog, I'm actually proud of Rog, he's still with them. Wait, Rog, hey! Rog! The Div 4 basketball fitness, it doesn't stand up. Halfway. You're five laps in and you're sticking with them. It takes time to see people. It takes long, truly. You're sticking with them. Don't talk, just breathe. Just keep breathing. I'm done. You're done? I'm done. Oh, you've gone with them the whole time. I reckon they've only got one or two left. Have you got it? Oh, is he going? This is, this is called motivation. Oh, no, we're going to fight. Two more. <laughs> Two on. more. <laughs> Woo! I hope you're watching Tony Mitchell. Yep. That's resilient. That's ticker. That's effort. How good is that? It's unbelievable. Tell you what, Roger has put in an absolute shift here. I didn't expect it. I think he actually is walking now. He got to lap 7.5 seven of eight. And a half. 7.5 laps with two absolute elite athletes. It's incredible. You got him. <laughs> you got him. You got him in the end. That's, why they, that's why they play league footy. You tapped at seven and a half. Tapped at seven and a half. You're proud of yourself though. I'm proud of myself, but um, I just feel like during the week, if I had have had one more session on the track and one less session, 
out enjoying the uh, release of lockdown, perhaps I would have gone with them, but uh, that's, that's probably why they're Brownlow medalists and I'm uh, Division 2 reserves back flank. Well, you said a couple of laps, like in your head, you're like, oh, laps aren't that hard. Yeah, the, pace, hard. Yeah. the pace that's set is just yeah. impossible. My legs just filled up, they were just so heavy, yeah. <laughs> and I was two laps in. Is that rest that um, actually makes it harder because it means the intensity is higher? Yeah. yeah. So when you have a rest, you yeah. run faster. Why well, three laps? Oh, bug it. That sort of running is unbelievable, and I can't believe you blokes do that just every day. <laughs> well, once the fatigue set in, it really set in quick, and it was just the legs are so heavy to keep on going. But that's the sort of running you got to do if you want to train like an AFL player. And I believe this this running session will be on ball magnets soon. Yeah. Later. So the preseason programs are coming. So if you want to train like an AFL player, basically that's where you got to go. Head to the ball magnets app and. I know this is the moment everyone's been waiting for. There was a rookie spot on the line today. Uh, it was a tough decision. Um, and I know that you know there's going to be someone walking away disappointed, but I'd like to congratulate and award the rookie spot to neither of you. So, um, wow. yeah, a bit, bit rough, but uh, you know, wow. we couldn't complete the session. So we can either repeat it and we can offer the rookie spot up again, or you're just going to have to come back I next year. I don't reckon. Come I'm back bigger and better next year. I reckon next year I'll have a full season of ball magnets behind me, <laughs> and next year we hit it harder and I'll be with you right, and then beating you in. every step away. I'm, I'm, never doing, doing, I'm never doing this session again in my life. <laughs> I'm going home. Thanks, Tommy. <laughs> on top of this, we are doing some extra content on the ball magnets app for free. We're going to be doing some skills. Myself, Rog, and Tommy Mitchell. We're talking kicking, we're talking handball, and everything you need to be an elite footballer completely free. That's right, free on the Ball Magnets app. Download it now.